All right. Hello, everybody. Hello, Wind Dweller. Welcome back to. To. Last time. We got Jockery's second Cosmosphere and a whole butt ton of shop events today. More shop events and hopefully getting back to the main street. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm really sorry. I I can't believe there are so many shop events in this game. But you know, at least I'm putting them all together. Let's just take a quick rest to see if I have any top topics I missed. Nope. Okay. And just in case we do get back to the plot, what are we trying to do? Mint block is on okay oh to go to lucas house okay so yeah let's check out any more shop events for all right yeah wow did we exhaust Cynthia's shop events? That would be pretty insane if we if we did. Ah, oh, Skycard's got some. Okay, let's go. Welcome, the lady, and Lady Cloche as well. Oh, she's actually being included in this one. Oh, you're reading me as well. Will wonders never cease? <laughs> Please don't let me get in the way of your normal conversations with Luca. That's okay. I have something I want to ask both of you today. I'm being incredibly blunt here. But are you still getting along? You're always saying things too abruptly for me to keep up. Why are you concerned about such a thing? Well, don't you do have completely different personalities? So, I was worried you might actually get along badly and all be all thorny with each other. I didn't expect any worries about that from you, Sky Cat. Oh, why not? Have you not considered your own personality compared to hers? Oh, I get it. <laughs> How did you not notice? That's it? No recipes? Okay. Hello, T. Welcome to the stream. Let's see. Have we, have we synthesized everything? With her? I think we have. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's right, the fucking float stone. Like I you guys told me that I that that, that, that was a drop. But, uh, seriously, I, uh, I have no idea where to find that. Alright, let's go back in, see if there's any more. Yep, there is. Here we go. Milady, milady, I've prepared something amazing! What? Another new recipe? Not there. Look, a spear waitress uniform! Hello, XT, and welcome to the stream. That's something amazing. Try it on. Why ask me out all of a sudden? Is she gonna get a new costume? 
Well, you just left when I joined the stair. Right? So I was just thinking, I'd love to see you in uniform. B -b 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 Come on, you've got none to lose. It's embarrassing. Luca, you've worn way more embarrassing things. Besides, I just remember I kept messing up and getting people mad at me. Milady, you really did mess up a lot, didn't you? <laughs> oh my god! Come on. You can tell me without seeing it, can't you? Well, just a little. <laughs> oh, too bad. And I went to all this trouble to get it ready. I don't think seeing that would do you any good, would it? But I think it would be cute. Don't you think so too, Crow? That's right, you're in this too. Now you're talking to me. One word from you makes all the difference. If you'd say nice things about her, even if you didn't mean it, I think she'd wear it. Should you really be saying things like that when I can hear you? Okay, that's it for her. Well, at least until we leave. We, uh, for those who just joined in, we already talked to, um, I keep forgetting her name. The girl I gave the TV voice to, the weapons girl. And, uh, she, uh, her events were apparently done. So far. To the best of my knowledge. Oh my god, hers are too? Wow! Okay, let's try Spica. We are- oh my god. Are we actually gonna give, be able to get back to the plot? Well, let's try fighting a bit first, and then we'll see if there's any more. Because I know some activate after you've been in a fight. Not for Spica either. It was just those two with, with Skycat. Oh my god. Wow. Let's get into some fights. Hello, AJ. Oh god, what am I doing? I went the wrong way. Let's get into some fights. I've heard it was three fights. To reset the counter. Hello, AJ. Let's see. There we go. We got her in the main outfit. Yeah, we're gonna kill these ducks in one fucking hit. You won't even need to use their spells, really. For the enemies over here and get freaking S ranks on everything. Thank you for the happy Valentine's Day. That's right, happy Valentine's Day to everybody here. There's an IPD here. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, it's connected to this room. It's probably the one at the very end. Oh, we might actually have to use uh, their magic with these guys. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is just, this area is too old. You don't have to, Void Dweller. Oh no, the IPD is not there. Is it here? Wow, striking out. Okay, uh... 
That's gotta be one of the first two. And give me that random encounter. Here we go. I don't need spells. These guys are way too pathetic. Come on. Go. Wait. Kill the ducks. Kill the ducks. Kill the ducks. S rank. Unbelievable. It really is at the end of the long ass hallway, really. Ah, for fuck's sake. Watch, it's like a level 9 or some shit. Wouldn't it be great if we found the float stone here? We only have two encounters left on the meter anyway, so... Ah, oh, here we go. There we go. What level? Level two only? Oh, this is gonna take two fucking seconds. Oh my god. I don't know if we're gonna survive this fight, you guys. I don't know. I mean, uh, it's, I know it's risky of me not to use any magic for like a level two, but like... Oh, oh my god, it's by some miracle we won the battle. Wow! Unbelievable, that was a close call. I don't know how I pulled through. Oh my god. And that's it. <laughs> The float stone is for a synthesis. We need to get another uh, synthesis sketch. If I knew where it was dropped. And we're gonna get a random encounter here anyway. Here we go. <laughs> Giving me level 2 IPDs at this stage in the game. We haven't even encountered a level 7 yet, Void Dweller. Oh, yep, and there's it. We've done, uh, you yeah, know, we've... Just like that, we've uh, completely drained the encounter meter. So yeah, let's leave and now see if uh, we've reactivated any shop events. Yes, we have. Uh, what happened? It's annoying to see you all nervous like this. I'm so glad. I was waiting for you. So, what happened? Are you getting withdrawal symptoms from one of your own medicines? Even if that was a joke, that's extremely dangerous. Oh, it isn't that. It's that. I've been wanting to hear those words for a long time now. Oh, oh. oh is that... I just want to eat a bucket guy. Huh? Of what? What's going on? We got a new talk topic? That's cool. Next team. Ah. Thanks. Now I feel better now. Not being able to hear those words for so long made me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. So, 
What are you two talking about? What the fuck was that about? That was clearly a reference to something. I have no idea what it was. Maybe an Artinelica one reference and that was it. Yep, that's what I thought. Estalior, welcome to the stream. Oh, Sasha! Okay. Sasha has something, but since we're already right here, let's check Sky Cat out again. Nope, Sky Cat is spent. We finished Sky Cat, you guys! We definitely finished Sky Cat! Oh my god. Wow! I think we're actually gonna be able to get back to the plot! Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys, we're gonna do it! We're gonna get back to the plot! Unbelievable! Woo! Ah, this is close. Welcome! I decided to drop by, since I thought you would have made something new by now. Whoa! You're amazing! I just finished thinking up a re recipe! This time, it's kind of like a school handicraft project. Something made between parents and children. If everyone in a family makes it together, they won't just make items, they'll also make new memories. Oh my god! Woo! That was a really nice thing to say. Aww. I love Cloche's relationship with Sasha. It's natural, since she is such a good girl. But that didn't sound like something a child would say. Crow, if you have any complaints, direct them to me. Woo! No, I have none. Please forgive me. With this, I thought I could get all the members of the family to make use of the shop. I see. You really thought hard about it. It will allow you to instantly expand the range of your customers. This is the recipe. The recipe, fun family crafts, has been added. Let's go. I'm sorry to treat you like guinea pigs, but please, try making it if you like. I trust in your skills. I shall use this recipe with all of my gratitude. Take my love, my anger, and all of my gratitude! Okay, here we go. Okay, and Luca and Cloche can both use this shop. How do you make How do you make this? And they can ease everybody can easily make it. Awesome. What can you make as a family that you can enjoy even after you've made it? Hmm. Let's see. You get bored with a simple toy pretty quickly. How simple. You make something cute that you can use in the bath. Then not just the child, but also the parent can enjoy it together. I see. Good idea, Sis Clo. Yes, that will let you enjoy it together after making it. I'll make it cute and useful so they'll keep using it. I'll help you too. God, I love Cloche's relationship with Sasha so much. Oh my god, it actually worked! It's like a cute penguin toy with bubbles. Oh my god! Yay, it's done! Who oh, is such a cute penguin? This is sure to bring fun to families in the bath. 
Yeah, I woke it in my bath too. It is nice, but what does it do? Oh, I attempted to make the toys that it produces bu soap in bubble form. That's great! You can even have bubble baths. It's called the Pevin Blower. I made the name fit it. So, is it correctly made to produce bubbles? Yes, it's set up right. Let me try it out. Oh, look, look, look. So many bubbles are coming out of the mouth. Wow, it's so cute. Huh? Aren't there too many bubbles? It kind of looks like the penguin passed out foaming at the mouth. <laughs> oh my god! Why did you have to ruin it, Crow? Why? God damn it! <laughs> ah, the penguin's eyes go all white when it's bubbling. This would make kids cry in the bath. God damn it. But it's so cute. If only the eyes didn't turn white. Then just like paint over them with like a marker or some shit. God damn it. Let's see, what does this actually do? Oh, it's a it's an ingredient to use in something else. I see. Okay. Now Luca. What do you want to make? Is it okay that we're making a project that's a family? It doesn't have to be a family. It can be friends or lovers too. Even people who just met. As long as you can enjoy making it. The last one is a really strange relationship. But this is basically meant for families, right? The result won't be anything dangerous then. No, of course not. The recipe is for making stuff like accessories or bath toys. So you can be sure it wouldn't be, make anything dangerous. Okay, then I think I'll try making a fun toy. It looks like you made a meme of some kind. Wait, is this actually just the pop-up pirate game thing, but a lot more brutal and meme-y? Yeah, it's done. It is, isn't it? It's it, it's like a meme version of the of the pop-up pirate game. Oh my god. Okay, it's done. I see. It's a game where you poke it with knives and the inside pops out. Knives? Hey, I thought this was for family crafting. Right. They make this pop out. What is that? It's a pastry called Fun Boon. Yes, but why does it have like a buff male body below it? The name is Fun Boon's Crisis. Let's try it out right anyway. Right away. Huh? Wait a minute! It's dangerous! Huh? What is? I just realized that the spring in here is really strong. Besides that, I think it's made wrong, so the knives fly all over too! God damn it, Luca. God fucking damn it. What? I don't remember making it like that! Even playing as a family can be life threatening. This is too dangerous for anyone to get within a team stone radius. Okay, what what is this? Okay, I see. So it's it's um prevent random battles. Oh, she has a lot of events here. Sasha, I have come. Holy Maiden! Pardon? Welcome to this humble abode. Thank you for always coming here. 
Did she find out? How? How did you learn I was the maiden? So she did- I forgot that she had no idea this entire time. I was told when I was out shopping. I didn't know that Sis Clo was the maiden. I was so surprised. Holy maiden. Why did you hide it from me all this time? I don't know. Huh? I don't know why any maiden. I'm not a maiden. But Lady Cloach is the holy maiden. I said that I am not her. Ah! But please calm down. You're scaring Sasha. I wasn't hiding anything. Yes, I said I am Cloche. And certainly it's true that I am the maiden too. But why do you have to call me something like Holy Maiden the moment you found out? Because I'm of a different status than the Holy Maiden and... It'd be rude to address you with such familiarity. Don't just assume that it's rude. Did I ever say anything of the sort? I... I like this place. And you, Sasha. I really like this place. In front of you, I wasn't the Holy Maiden or Lady Cloche. I was just simply your sis Clo. Oh, wow. I do remember Xtian. I do. I thought you would just see me as another normal person. But why does it have to be this way? Forget it. Crow, let us go. Uh, to where? Somewhere where no one calls me the Holy Maiden. Holy Maiden all the time! I don't want to be here anymore. Come on, Cloche, don't do that. If I can't be just this Clo, then I don't want to be here. Please, stop acting so recklessly. You don't have to get so angry at a child. Shut up. I don't want to be here anymore! If all of you want to stay, why don't you do so? I am leaving this place now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Sis Clo. Sasha, there's no reason for you to apologize. No, I was wrong. It's because I somehow confused Sis Clo with the Holy Maiden. Your Sis Clo. Only my Sis Clo. And Sis Clo isn't the Holy Maiden. Sasha. I mean, Holy Maiden would never come to a rundown place like this. It's my mistake. But you were so sure about her being the Holy Maiden. Come on, Crow. It's obvious what she's doing. No, that was my mistake. I'm totally sure about it. There's no way Sis Clo can be the Holy Maiden. How can you change what you say now? Because I was totally wrong. Sis Clo, I know you aren't the Holy Maiden. Why is that? Since you are now denying what you said earlier, you need to have an appropriate reason. If you are going to insist, then I need you to ask me to ask you to prove it to me. Prove that I am neither the Holy Maiden nor Lady Cloche. Huh? Well, uh, oh, crap. Uh, oh, oh, right. Because the Holy Maiden is a perfect lady, capable of doing anything. So it's totally impossible that she would cook that horribly. Huh? I don't want a Holy Maiden who can only cook up food that's like charcoal. And I want a Holy Maiden that relaxes with tea at a rundown shop. 
That would be so sad and fitting. Did I never want that? You get mad, you're yelling, you're very scary. It's not like a holy maiden at all. Uh, and then it, he almost cut your finger with a knife. He confused a pot with a frying pan. And then, uh... All right, soldier, stop. We get it. Are you sure? So it's impossible that my clumsy and no good Cisclo is the Holy Maiden. Holy Maiden is a totally perfect lady. Lady Close, uh... Yes, you're right. I... I'm just your clumsy, no good Cisclo who can't even cook at all. Right? <laughs> you look so alike that I think I confused you both. I am glad that you realized it. I... I won't make you... I won't forgive you when you make the same mistake again. I'm so sorry, Cisclo. Please come to my shop a lot from now on, too. Um, Lady Cloche? Please, stay quiet. I really want to cry now. <laughs> wow, that was a really big one. Any more? No, okay, we spent, we're spent. And uh, I think you said we have a talk topic, Xtian. Let's see. Oh, we have a talk topic with Cloche and Joggery. Two talk topics. It's too bad that Sasha found out about you, Lady Cloche. Oh, that. I'd have thought she'd be more upset. Oh, what came after was worse than when she found out I was the maiden. You do have a point. In any case, isn't Sasha a little too ignorant of the world? She does give that impression of not giving any thought to anything outside her shop. I'll tell her she ought to get more get out more often. You don't need to meddle. I'll do what needs to be done with her, so you just keep quiet. Oh, I see. Does this mean that she's that fond of Sasha? I think they're adorable. Huh, may I ask you something that isn't really fair. Yes, I don't mind. You're agreeing immediately. When you're the maiden, you get that sort of question all the time. I'm confident that I can answer the vast majority of questions gracefully. Okay, I'll go ahead then. Ah, uh, my funeral. Between the general store and the fancy shop, which do you honestly prefer? Huh? Well, uh, uh. Oh, sorry. That was too unfair. I think maybe the general store. But it's hard to discount the fancy shop, too. Uh, uh. All right. Uh. Oh, but I'll feel bad for Sasha if I choose the latter. But I'll feel bad if I choose hers out of pity. Uh. I'm sorry. I was being too unfair. Oh god, Cloche, you are so sweet and adorable. And we had one with Jockery, too. It's just a better costume, I think. Hey, Jockery, there's something I want to ask about one of your costumes. Wait a second. Change! How did you just transform without yelling? No, 
It is a tradition. What is about this costume? Yes, that's the one. Something about it is a little distracting. So you had such tastes, huh? I am XTN, but I want to get Jockery up to level 5 first. No, that's not it. What's bugging me is, why does the costume have a gun included? It does? <laughs> what? <laughs> Pretty hot, right? I don't have the slightest idea of what you're talking about. How pathetic. Anyway, if you have something like that, could you please support us with it in battle? This is just a toy, so I can't use it in battle. Then why do you carry it around? Ah, oh, for aesthetics. Isn't that made with a gun hot? Come on. Oh, whatever. <laughs> oh my god. Jockery, you're pretty cool. Let's just check back with us. Oh, good. Cynthia does have one as well. Okay. Okay, so Cynthia is ready. Let's see what she got. All right. Cynthia, are you here? Oh, cool. Treat the world kindly. Live brain! Huh? Are y'all treating the world kindly? Do you have the kindness necessary to treat a girl well? Sorry, but I've got no idea about what you're trying to say now. Do y'all litter? Do you discard things that are still perfectly usable? Of course not. Isn't that common sense? But why are you asking me this out of the blue? Well, actually, I saw someone littering the other day. And that's when I thought it. You're adding another recipe. Amazing, Koo. So you did know. Woohoo! The recipe ecological product has been added. From now on, it's the era in which even our weapons are ecological. Ecological! Isn't that kind of oxymoronic? Even if y'all stop using them, they're recyclable. So just bring them back, okay? I'm pretty interested in how you plan to recycle them. Oh wow, this is another one that's pretty easy to make. So, you called this eco, but how should we make it? I would just make it eco-ish. Yes, but how? Well, you see, uh, now how should I say this? Uh, whatever. We're using recyclable materials, so just make it any which way y'all want. Nice evasion. It's the truth. Come on, let's hurry up and make it. We did it, Koo. Came out great. What is this? I can't name it if I can't tell what it is. Hmm. Y'all can't tell at a glance. Let's see. Huh, I see. Right. Yup, yup. I guess it's not a weapon. 
We can't. We can tell by how it looks. Then I'll give you all a second a serious explanation. This is a generator for, to arrange waveforms. Waveforms, like sound waves. Yup, yup. This one is for arranging G-waves. I guess that's right, about right for a simple explanation. That's too difficult to understand. Oh, in other words, think of it as the G-wave version of a prison. Y'all don't get it? Regardless, it's to arrange D-waves. In that case, I'll choose D-splitter for the name. I never thought the day so would come when someone would make something like this in a weapon shop. What does it do? It's a weapon for... Oh, it's an ingredient, I see. Okay, Jockery, what are you going to make with this? You don't need to take ecology so far as incorporating it into weapon design. Yes, you wouldn't normally think of something like that. That's the wrong way to think! Just a little spot. They say enough to be a problem. This can't be helped. I mean, how many times have I heard that phrase just today now? Seriously. There we go. We haven't had one in a while. Oh, God. Now my windows got all shuffled. Okay. Thoughts like that'll ruin this world. Weapons in particular will break at some point. Would it be handy if they could be salvaged? Better than switching to a new one, which will have a different feel. I never expected to hear so much about ecology in a weapon shop. Even when y'all are fixing weapons, there are plenty of things that are just hopeless that you gotta throw away. So I want to at least do what I can to reduce that sort of thing. Yes, it's a good thing to cut back on trash. And honestly, it's a pain going to throw things out. Weapons are big chunks of metal, so it's a lot of hard work disposing of them. Y'all just shattered a perfectly good conversation. You just shattered a perfectly good conversation at the very end. <laughs> oh my god, it really does look like an ecological bomb. We did it, Koo. Came out great. It's done. Is this a bomb? Yeah, it is. Is that all right? Won't the fragments scatter and become trash when it explodes? Don't worry, you pretty little head. After all, this will crumble to dust from the force of the explosion. Even if, even if it's a fragment's left, it's meant to naturally melt away after a while. It even turns into nature-friendly fertilizer. Whoa, I'm honestly impressed. I see. In short, this is an eco weapon. Certainly, it sounds awfully dubious. Dubious. Holy shit! Whoa! Uh. I think we should make uh, a bunch more of these. Oh my god. This might be the first time I actually use some weapons. Holy shit. Whoa! And that is actually a good idea, you know? Figures, the thing that actually seems like a good idea is gonna be actually useful to us. Oh my god. Wow. And we still have more events. 
Uh, hello. What's wrong? You sound pretty lazy today. Jeez, Crow. Oh, I just finished making a weapon the other that the other customer ordered. It was a huge hammer, so I got really tired. I see. With your slight build, making weapons must be pretty taxing. I won't deny I'm scrawny, but it's just a question of getting used to it. Uh, but I use more love than physical strength to make your stuff. So no matter how many things I make, tiredness will never claim me! So you dragged the conversation this way after all. Well, just don't overdo it. Oh, that was a really short event. Oh, I accidentally went to the dive shop. Okay, here we go. And yep, we're done with her for now. I forgot, I think the slums actually is free from random encounters. After you clear it out, yeah. Okay. Okay, so, um... You know what, let's go to Mikri Forest and, and uh, just uh, fight three enemies and then... Uh, Okay, so no IPDs here. You know what? I'd actually rather go to Rakshik Resort. There was... Oh yeah, there was that really insane IPD here. Seven IPDs? Okay, so it looks like we're gonna... There's quite a few here, at least. Let's see if we can find them. You're right! Oh my god, Void Dweller! No, but don't you remember I did like 10,000 damage? Level 5! You know what? Let's let's try to fight her, but not now. Not now. Let me. Uh, I want to save first. All right, level. This is our very first level five. Now we fought level fours before, and they were no issue. So, um, did I save? I don't think I saved. I'm all paranoid since that time I forgot to save when I thought I saved. Here we go. Level five, Loom. I think I can fight her normally because... Here we go. Oh yeah, this this doesn't look like it's gonna be any kind of issue. I don't, I'm not gonna waste my items on this. This doesn't look like it's gonna be an issue at all. Oh, 
Yeah, level five is wow. All right, Reaperette. Oh, yeah, woo. Damn, level fives are officially no issue. Oh my god, okay. Do you guys remember when level threes gave me so much trouble? You know what, let's go back and see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret this. But let's go back and uh... Oh wait, she's not there anymore. Or is this the wrong area? Yeah, that's the wrong area, okay. Yep, here's that level nine. You know what? I'm gonna try it just because I just saved, so. Defensive phase first, so what uh, What could I do if it was defense phase first? I, I, it seems completely random. It seems completely random if you get defense phase, phase first or not. Jeez. Oh God, I wish it didn't take forever. I wish it didn't hit you back all the way to the title screen for dying. Seriously, you know, old games. It's like uh, if you play Sy Symphony of the Night and if you die in Symphony of the Night, then you, don't, you do not want to die when you're playing Symphony of the Night. Because that game have like five game over screens to get you back into the action. Like they really, really dissuade you from dying. It's like, it's an incredible Metroidvania otherwise. I just want to see if I can fight her with items. Are they gonna actually let me go first or not? No defense again, god damn it. Uh. God damn it. I, I want to try using those items. You know what? That's it. It's just not going to work. The last time they let me go first for some reason. I don't know what the turn is. Is the turn order truly random whether you're attacking or defending first? Because it, it does feel like that. I wonder what level I could truly fight now, since even level five now is a total non-issue.
Yeah, there's six more IPDs. I'm guessing they're inside the building? Jeez. What are you guys selling? That's a status thing. Holy shit, we have like no money. I forgot. Okay, so there's an IPD here. Okay, another level five. Let's go. Buster, welcome to the stream. Okay, let's go, let's go. Boink. Perfect. Perfect. Right. You don't scare me. Let's go! Wait, I thought they were level 10. So level 9 is the last one? I thought level 10 was the final stage. I wonder how many IPDs are in here. Go. There's a level one at Rack Shack Resort, really. A level 10 is post game. Damn. So lo the level 10s are basically super bosses. Oh! What is up with these level 9s? No! No, 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 no. Another one? Okay, here's that level 1. Cheers. Okay, here we go. Here's that level one. I think this one was there since the beginning of the game, but we just never came back here. Oh god, what are we gonna do, you guys? I don't know if I'm gonna win this fight. You guys are just gonna have to cheer me on. See, I don't know if we can win. Oh, that was the one. <laughs> oh god, here we go. You, th you think we go back here late in the game? That would make sense. Where is IPD Labs? I think that's way... B 
I think IPD Labs is way back in, um... Oh, hello, Guppy Force. Welcome to the stream. So there are no level 10s, really. Level 10 doesn't exist, you said, basically. Oh, uh, Guppy Force, do you know what where enemies that drop the float stone are? Because we need one of those to craft something. And I can't find it. Okay, so there is another IPD here. And it's right there. Level 3. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we can handle her, no problem. Leaving the lab once until we can access the Grand Hall? Sure. You know what I'm going to try this time? We, we crafted those amazing items. We have so many. Let me see. Um... Wow, we have a, the Turbo Spin Rice Ball. Let's try it. Oh, it's a single enemy. The eco weapon is one enemy. Okay, here we go. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. What the fuck just happened? That's such a rip-off. It said that! Lodestones are a next story location? God damn it. didn't you goddamn ship what the actual fuck it was supposed to be a weapon there's another IPD right here in this hallway Okay, no new conversations. I hope it's like a level six or seven because I'd really like to challenge one of those. Another nine! God damn. Well, I'm not going in that room ever again. Jeez, what is up with all these level nines? Yep, okay, so that's it. We've done everything in this area, but the three level nines. They're not, these level nines aren't even registering on on my thing for some reason. Oh, 
I wonder why those three level nines aren't even registering on my, uh... On my little view there. Okay, well, I think we've done enough fighting. Uh, even with the normal random battles. But hey, it was good we found some IPDs and three level nines. My god. Okay, Exion, so we do definitely come back here at the end game. I love the little dance that Jockery does. It is so freaking hilarious. The Jockery dance. Do the twist. Yeah, I can do that, boy, dog, but I don't want to do that here. Now let's just try to, uh... Let's see if the shops have, uh, updated. God can't, you got anything for me? Oh, Sasha does. But the Sky Cat. Damn, Sasha has, has uh, quite a lot of events today. Oh, Sky Cat has something too. Yep. The battles always bring it out. Welcome, lady. You came to see me again. No, that's not what. Yeah, I came to see you. You could be a little more natural about it. But, but I'm not used to it like you are. Fine. I'll put it up with it. And I'll prevent it next time. Lady Cloche. I don't look like that. I, I'm not making a sullen face. I never said sullen. Urgh. Lady Cloche? Are you not feeling well? It, it's nothing. Enough! You're so popular no matter where you go, my lady. I'm a bit sad since it, it seems like you'll be taken from me. She totally has a crush on Luca. Stop always saying things I don't know how to handle. Oh, and it was just that. Okay. That was it for her, just for that one little event. Okay, I think, uh... I think it's more that Sky Cat has a crush on Luca, and I think she just... And Luca is kind of... She puts up the, t the too nice front, so she can't really refuse her. So I think uh, we have some more items from Sasha. Let's see. Uh, although it could be a little too different. Sasha, did something happen? Ah! Sis Chloe, I'm sorry. I didn't notice you were there. It's fine. So did something happen? Yes, I'm thinking of some ways to get more business at the shop. One way I thought was giving something extra to customers that could make them happier. I think that getting to see such a cute shopkeeper is more of an extra than anything you could give them. That's not... This is cool. That's so embarrassing. But... I thought the best I could... I thought the best I could about it. 
Right now, I was thinking about something like discount coupons could work out. I, I suggest you not do that, though. Really? I thought it might be a good idea. It's a good idea, but reducing profits might affect the survival of the store. Do you have any good ideas, Bro Crow? Let's see. What about having an event to entertain the customers? Oh, you've got good business sense, Crow. Huh. We talking about an event we could hold here. Uh, yeah! How about decorating the inside like a haunted mansion? It would match so well with the exterior that no one would dare come any closer. That's a different sort of entertainment, Sasha. Oh, no item. And that's it for her. Seems like we're just getting one event. Oh yeah, I forgot Spica. There I go. Oh, nothing. Let's just make sure. This is really easy to just go to a shop. Speak up. Got anything to say to me? No. Okay. Yeah, she's done, done. For quite a while. Cynthia, good old Cynthia, has something for us. Okay. Cool. Well, it's great that you came, even at a time like this. Well, it's mainly because it's a time like this that I need your help. Oh, thinking about it, I guess that's true. You really depend on her, huh? Only when it comes to weapons. Y'all didn't need to say that only part. I could do a lot of things too. A lot of other things. I've never seen you do anything else. Cause uh, I'd be worried that you love me even more than you do now. I can't handle all your love. I love Sky Cat the best, I think. Uh, Xtian, I think she's the most fun to do. But I love, uh, Cloche's relationship with Sasha. I think, uh, that's the best, uh, of the... Like, if I'm, if I'm judging them just on their own personality and how funny the events are, and how funny the character is, it's gotta be Sky Cat. But if I'm judging how well they affect the story and the personalities and, like, the character development, it's gotta be Sasha. But I also love Cynthia and... Uh, Cynthia and Spica too. They're all great. Why do you always have to come up with a love thing? You were both talking about a time like this. Do you still have enough free time to be lovey-dovey, huh? We're not being lovey-dovey. This is how our relationship close our relationship is. Close. Isn't it? Is it? I don't know how to react to you half the time. See? It's a problem even before it comes to being love Um, so you mean that crow's just not reaching how you want? In other words, you want to be lovey dovey with him, but you can't. I'm saying, it's not that I want to be lovey dovey, it's that. Oh! This ain't a situation to be talking about this stuff, huh? Come on. What business do y'all have today? Are you angry? She's blushing. It's so cute! No! We just shoppers aren't allowed! So hurry and finish what you came for! I mean, we're not allowed to go to the, the palace, which means no IPD labs. 
Alright. Actually, uh, you know what? There's no IPGs here. Oh, look, this updated. Damn, there are so many IPGs. Holy shit. You know what? Let's try the desert. We haven't been there in forever. Just to do some battles. Oh, and it's right at the start, too. Yep, level one, here we go. All right. I just really want to catch up to the shop events. X there we go, okay. Okay, and we're done with all the IPDs in the area, too. Now I just have to... I'll just do three random battles, and that should be it. Let's see if, uh... I'm pretty sure Spika is 100% done. Until we get to the next uh, story trigger. We've almost caught up with the shot events. Shot, shot events. Shop events. Spe There's one Cynthia left. Awesome. Do you know what about Sasha and Skycap? Thank you, Estalior. Okay, so there's definitely one Cynthia left. Now it's then so Spika is done. We just have to check uh, Sky Cat, one Sky Cat left, and Sasha. One Sky Cat and one Sasha left. Okay. Okay, so there might be more sky cats. Okay. We didn't. Oh, Sasha is done. Sasha is done, done. Uh, are we done? I think we might be done. Oh my god, you guys. No, no, oh, no Skycat either. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Did we do it? Did we catch up with Shop of... There's Cynthia. Okay, we got Cynthia, but I, Skycat and Sasha. 
Okay, Cynthia definitely has one. Okay, so this is probably the one you were talking about with Cynthia. Cool. Wow, it's great that you came at a time like this. Oh, how could it be that you know my skills? Because at a time like this. I mean, didn't it get kind of disturbing scary out there all of a sudden? Yes, it did. Are you okay? Oh, they're talking about the main story. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, I am a weaponsmith, you know, weaponsmith, you know? I can fend off the bad guys myself if I have to. Are they talking about the shit that happened in the beginning of chapter two? Oh my god. And well, I'm actually more worried about y'all. This seem to be somewhat unreliable. It makes me worry. Oh, thanks, Void Dweller. Do I? Yeah, that's why I... I mustn't... I mustn't... What is it, Cynthia? <laughs> oh, nothing... Nothing at all! Nothing at all! Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Oh, well. So, yeah, I, I, I'm just worried. I'm surprised you saw me that way. But there's no need for you to worry. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. I mean, I do, you know, you're really strong. Even at a time like this, you're as lovey-dovey as always. Lovey? No, 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 no. It's not like that, I swear! Cool looks so unreliable that I just wanted to be more careful. If a regular from weapon shop gets beaten so easily, it affects my reputation too. Could that ever happen? Isn't all your equipment filled with the in invincible power of love? It's not that kind of love. Uh, stop, stop, stop! This conversation ends here! So Spica is tied with Jockery's diving. Okay. I imagine that, uh, oh wow, that looks like a person actually. Wait, what the fuck? Who are you? Oh, it's just an NPC. Okay. And uh, there should be an IPD in the slums. Level five, finally a real fight. Okay, Pucha, let's go. I will look at what you're saying in a second after this battle is Talion. I will. I'll check them all again after this. Synchronicity nullified? God fucking damn it. He didn't even get a scratch on me. You ain't doing shit. Keep on going. I could do this all day. I could keep this up all day. 20,000. Let's, let's see if you survive this. Un 
Unbelievable! She's still standing! Wow! You are truly a worthy opponent. Unbelievable! Oh, I see. Just a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. And there's no more IPDs here. Okay. That's a, that is an absolute lie. Rack Shack Resort level 5. There's three level 9s there. But there's more in the result underground that we didn't see. And also Cat Mansion. Let's go, uh... I know that the game doesn't like to count the IPG as actual battles. You know what? Let's go here for a change. Oh, and the IPD is right here. I need, actually need to refill HP. Alright, how many... Oh, there's only one root out of here. Okay. I comp honestly, X and I completely forgot how to activate Reflectia and the other thing. Level four, easy peasy. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, God damn it! Let's go. So Spika has less events than everyone else I'm, I'm noticing, basically. Go ahead, keep doing what you're doing. That's what happens when I look at the chat, right there. Instead of uh, paying attention to the game. <laughs> uh, let's see. And she still did like next to no damage at all. My god, okay. Is it one seventeen fifty? Let's see. Oh yeah, that definitely got her. There we go. And there's no more IPDs here. Alright, cool. Let's just do some normal battles. Oh shit, these guys are actually strong! Shit, these guys actually can hit me! Oh god! <laughs> I forgot! 
I forgot. I forgot. The enemies here are not jokes, unlike the other places we've been actually fighting. Oh boy, okay. Let's see. Be nice to have some real battles. I remember these dudes were like ridiculously strong. Now that I now that I think about it. Yeah, I keep getting songs. Oh wow, that's new. Tartarus's call. Sounds like a weapon. Alright, let's do two more fights here. We're actually get, gonna get some experience from these fights. Yeah, Resort Underground and Vertical Cave. Are the other two places with IPDs. Robot dudes. They are such strong normal enemies. I've been just doing one of each type of attack. Alright, defense check. Damn, Kakona lost a lot of HP. Oh, okay, that's right. They could, these are the ones that can trip and fail. Let's heal it at first. One more battle. So you can activate Reflekia after 10,000. Attention. That's what happens when you're not paying attention. Yeah. 
ギリギリまで Surely finish them off. I keep forgetting to do it. God damn it. And I actually leveled up. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. I almost cleared out my, my encounter bar here. Okay. Definitely done. Just want to make sure. Oh, well, okay, so Skycat and Sasha are not telling me here, so let's see if uh, they're here. No! Skycat is definitely done. Sasha is definitely done. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. How are we gonna make some main story progress after so long? Oh my god. Cynthia? You're the last one. Oh my god, she didn't come out, you guys. We did it. We did it. You guys! We can actually continue with the main story! Oh my god. It's time. It's time. Let's visit Luca's house. Oh my god. So we've actually basically finished uh, half of the events. Uh, half of all shop events in the, in the game. I see. That's pretty cool. We're basically halfway through with all of them. I'd say that was time well spent then. If we're halfway through with shop events overall. Let's go. What's going on here? Oh no, it's been vandalized. Oh god. Fall down, maiden devil. It's awful. Who did all this? Oh no. Luca, Luca. welcome home. I'm home. Reisha, what with all the graffiti outside? Oh, that. I guess some people are just heartless. But don't worry about them. You're just gonna waste your time. But. I'll take him on! That graffiti. It's because Metaphalica failed, isn't it? Oh, 
Why is Luca being blamed for metabolic failing? Come on, don't worry. Nails that stick out get hammered down. Not just how the world is. That is a very Japanese phrase. For better or worse. Sounds like something you would say. Anyway, are you feeling better now? Yes, thank you. Because Armory took very good care of me. Oh, speaking of which, she came over the other day. Huh? What did she say? Damn, likely this feels like it's been five years since we've last seen you. That she was going to call and appear. What that little? Captain? Crew, we have to hurry to kind of gonna appear. Oh, wait, are you going to repeat the same thing again? What do you mean? Do you want to go for a little walk? Do you know why she went to Kanakana? I don't know. I don't know. No, she wouldn't tell us anything about herself. That's because the heart doesn't want to open. I can't help her with that. I'm talking about you. What? The reason she doesn't tell you anything is because she feels that you're walled off. If she thinks she can trust you, I'm sure she'll tell you everything. I can accept that. I'll understand her. As long as she comes to talk with me. I won't condemn her no matter what she says. And just how do you plan to convey that to Amory? Will you be able to express that to her in the same way you just did to me? Of course not. That's why I'm just waiting for her to come out and say it. I think you'll be waiting all your life. Whoa, what's all this then? They've been talking for a while now. It almost seems like of Leglius liking Avery. It almost, it, all, it almost seems like that's how she's phrasing it here, in, in this whole conversation. But doesn't Omri love Chester? And wow, what, what a complicated love web this is. And Chester is, uh, only has eyes for his girlfriend inside the IPD lab. First of all, do you hate being with her? Or do you want to be with her? 
I don't hate her. Of course you don't. Admit it. You panicked when you heard she was going to Konakon appear. Because you're worried, right? Of course! She's taking too many risks by doing that, especially during these dangerous times. <laughs> What's so funny? You're the same as always, Leglis. You haven't changed at all over 19 years. Leave me alone. Oh, well, Leglius. I'll tell you a secret I've kept until now. Do you remember the day Lady Arsh passed away? When we said that long goodbye. Where could they? No. Is this Rakshak Resort? Bats! Risha! Yo! Hobo Tain or Demoska? Hungai Hayakatana. We haven't seen him in forever. I, it looks like he's Luca's uh, father, I think, I'd imagine. Good morning, Mystery Theater. Welcome to the stream. So the containment squad's already here. That was faster than I expected. Containment squad? What are you talking about? Oh, you're not with the others? You ignored a direct order, didn't you? <laughs> Pretty good. We called him Senpai. Wow. Bats! Where are you going? Lady Arshis Lady Ar Ar entrusted us with Lady Cloche, the prime candidate to be the next goddess maiden. I will protect this child, even though it cost me my life. And even if I have to defeat you. What's going on? Still, I don't want to fight you. So let us go just this once. But... I'm glad I can meet you one last time. That was the only thing I was worried about. Hello. Goodbye. Risha! Risha! Thank you for everything you did for us. I'll never forget those fun times we shared. I will continue to watch over your efforts from the shadows. I hope you won't be burned with the duty of capturing us. Goodbye. by bats ouch wow just coming right out and saying it Raisha 
I knew that there was something between. So, so they had their own love triangle there. Wow. If you would be the one to come and save me back then, I'd have ended up marrying you. So Really? <laughs> Are you surprised? It was a legitimate love triangle. Wow. Wow. Honestly, until that day, I would have never been able to choose between you two. I liked you both so much. I went to save both you and him that day. I want to tell you that when we parted ways. I want to say, even if we're apart, I'll always protect you. I want to say that I loved you. But I couldn't say any of that. My position and various of my emotions ended up stopping me. Maybe they can get back together. Since uh, Bats, I think, is probably dead. Although, would they, would they still want that? I think they look adorable together, honestly. But this is the first chance I've heard to find out about your feelings. I'm so glad to have heard you telling me about them. Because I never knew what you were feeling when you ran into us that day. If you told us back then, even if it was only a single word, we might have felt a little better about it all. I'm sorry. You're strict, loyal, and trustworthy. You even rose to the top of the Grand Bell Knights. You love the people more than anything else. And always put their needs ahead of your interests. I'm not saying that's good or bad, but I think that me what that what that's what makes you who you are. If you stopped being yourself and became a romantic runaway. The you that I liked would have disappeared. Oh. Now I see. She was talking about Amory like that. Because she was like comparing she was comparing his attitude. Okay, I got that all wrong. I would love it if the if these two got together, honestly. <laughs> It might sound unfair, but that's how life is. I think it would be adorable. That's why, this time, I want to clear up everything. You are the person that honors law and order the most in this world. 
てもアマリエちゃんにはそういうのなしで接してあげてほしいの。But I wanted to talk to Amelie without touching on any of that. だってあの子はまだ二十歳なのよ。She's only twenty years old, you know. 自分が何を信じていいかも何が正しいのかもまだわからない年頃。She is still at the age in which she doesn't know who or what to trust or what's right. Anata got snow in Arena Kimotimoaka. Kanosu no Kimotimo Kanga Tagetoshi. I understand how hard it is for you to be honest, but I want you to think that of how she feels too. So, I see. Push Kondo, Gongo, Dodan, that I'm not the age. I've lived believing that mixing official business with my personal affairs is ridiculous. You must have some kind of a souvenir of Kaira de Mono de Mai. My name is Shoji Kumi. Now, I can't just stop feeling that way all of a sudden, but I can honestly say to you. I'm worried about Amory. That's why I always end up annoying her with my critiques of her. Really? I had no... Oh my... He might have mentioned that before. Hey, Roosh. Did you know I was married? How could I? I hadn't heard any news about you since the maiden's assassination. That, that's right, that he did have a daughter, yeah. So yeah, he was most likely married. I had a daughter. Her name was Alicia. A few years ago, my wife and daughter got caught in an IPD outbreak. Both dead in it. I see. Yep. Yep. I'll that's adorable. He thinks of her as a daughter. Oh my god, that is precious. I probably began seeing Amory as Alicia unconsciously. That, oh god, that is precious. Oh my god, wow. That is just precious. The honest feelings I have for her aren't suspicious. They're worried. Then I think you should tell these things to her. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah. Well then, good night. Risha. Oh god, if these two don't get together by the end of the story. I will be so oh my god, I hope I hope Risha doesn't die. Oh god. Oh god. I will be so pissed off if Risha dies. Before especially before these two get together. They gotta, they got to. They have that whole lost love reconnecting thing. Oh god. I'm sorry. For making you worry. It's okay. After all, you're still very important to me. Oh my god, I'm crying. Wow. Didn't you see, Void Dweller? His wife and daughter died. He just explained that, Void Dweller. So is that is how I am. Oh my god. Luca, 
Luca. This graffiti. If I had left earlier, none of this would have happened. Hey. If I was the daughter of a stranger, why did you raise me? Why did you protect me? Even to the point of getting hurt yourself. I was an unwanted child, right? I was a burden, right? In that, if that's the case, I'd have been happier if you told me that sooner. You should have abandoned me a long time ago. Why? I was hardly in a position to lecture someone else about expressing themselves. Huh? Oh. Wait, wait, what? Oh, fields all around. I'm very sorry. For having made you feel so lonely. Oh my god. Mom? I'm glad you safe. I was really worried all the time you were gone. There wasn't a day I didn't think about you. Oh, we got fields all around. Kanakana Pier is close. And very far away at the same time. Before, the Axis train used to go up there. But now you have to walk through the dreamy fields to reach it. And even if you walk through the fields eternally, you wouldn't be able to reach it. Why? You should just follow the train tracks, man. According to the rumors, these fields are dotted with tunnels, one of which is connected to Kanakana Pier. Of course, it's only a rumor, but maybe all you can do is look for it. Thank you. We'll keep an eye out for it. All right. Take care. Okay. No safe point at Lucas' hometown, I guess, eh? Kirel A doesn't have too much yet. Got plenty of these things. Hey, uh, let's see. But 
That was incredible. So, oh my god. That that is so sweet. That Leglius sees Amory as his as his as the daughter that he lost. Oh my god, that is adorable. And all the feels all around between Luca and Raisha and like Oh god, Leglius and Raisha. I just really want them to get together by the end of this. Oh god, like You guys have no idea how much I ship them right now. Oh my god. Oh, you guys. You know what? Let's, uh, we're, we're not going to finish it today, but let's go to Journey Fields. Let's try to find a save point in Journey Fields. Really, you think that, Xtian? I mean, that's what she said about back then. Alright, let's go. Let's get some... Hey, real fights now. Real fucking fights. No more just things to grind, but actual... Honest fights. Damn, okay, I do not know these guys' patterns. That really sucks. But even then, they barely put attention to me. Damn. Okay, let's see, Elma. Yep, that just wiped him out. Well, we got a new item, Cocka Waka Waka Seed, right there. Yep, here is the train track. Okay, that's right, we gotta be on the lookout for treasure chests. And there isn't even, oh, there's no random encounters in this area. This looks like an area where they could easily hide some treasure chests. Oh, we're, we're at a destination already. Here, I can feel a breeze coming through the crack. You're right, but it's too small. Don't worry. Well, that's one way. Wait a minute. Cray, back off. Didn't even work. There, now it's bigger. Oh, I see. It's it's a tiny bit bigger. <laughs> that was dangerous. And don't worry. I made sure to control the blast radius. Next time, at least, say something before you do something like that. You worry too much. I do think I'd fire off a song magic that would hurt all of us. No, I didn't think you would, but you'll never know. <laughs> oh my god, she is sassy. So which is it? Well, are we going in? I'm just going to ignore your question. She is quite a dangerous person. It was quick. So where's the problem? Come on now.
How do we don't have enough guts or the other way around? Women are strong, that's all. Let's go. Oh wow, look at this. It looks similar to the uh, similar to the underground tunnel in the cat mansion. Is that because the foundation is the same? The rim isn't composed of dirt and rocks. The, this is a huge song magic facility created by the ancient civilization. You guys just covered it with dirt and decided to live on top of it. At least until we find a safe point, let's keep going. <laughs> Agony noise. Oh, god damn it, I hate it when they do that. <laughs> It almost felt like it was fantastic. Did, it, did that do that automatically? I don't think I even pressed the button. Go, okay. Rank A, that's more like it. Floatstone! We got it! Woo! You're right, it's in this area. Oh my god. We never got to fully explore this area. looks like wow there's a lot more than you think no treasure chest oh great I'm half tempted to, to go back and And, uh, and just get that last shop event. I forget who had it. Oh my gosh, you guys. We got the floatstone! Red floatstone. And there we go. Popping up. In the, yeah, that better be an A. How big is this map area? Droopy sodas. 
Okay. Oh, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. It's like a Lost Woods type of deal. It's like re it's repeating. Okay. Then let's continue on inside. Let's go. Let's go. My god, if I do it that way, I can get a 4,000 charge on the very first attack. Seriously. It feels like I'm, get, I'm getting a 4,000 charge on the very first attack. And that, that's just making all the difference. Wow, these guys are pretty tough. These little slimes. Hell yeah, A rank. Although, really not much items to get. What is this? Oh, it's just the same area. We're gonna use up all our random encounters very soon. Look at that! 5,000! Oh my god! Oh, of course that's gonna happen. Fucking hell. You know what's funny? Oh yeah, it's Luke has him in the party. We have heard the Yaru! I was missing the Yaru! Cheers. Yaru was so adorable. There we go. Getting a little bit left right there. Another float stone. Oh wow, more barb. We're getting barbecue as regular drops. That is great because that is such a good healing item. And I think. No, we have one more possible random encounter. You know what? Let's just do it. It looks like we're gonna come up with uh, something in the store pretty soon. You want me to use Luca and Leglia soon? <laughs> Should I change the battle for formation to Luca and Leglius? 6,000 just to start off. Shit, I have not been paying attention. Oh, God, yeah. Well, I can rest up. Alright, let's go. Luca for sure, but Leglius is the I'll put in Leglius, why not? I haven't gotten him to party for a while because I actually switched him out because Kakona was there for so long. I mean, um, because uh, he was there for so long and I hadn't put. Yeah, I deserve that C. And yet I get all the drops anyway. Time Pyroxene, that's new. Okay, so I'm gonna put uh, Leglius and uh, Luca in the party.
Okay, so yes, there we go. Legolas and Mika are in the party. Just, and you know, let's check everyone's equipment. Everyone got their best shit. Like it's so far. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Okay, we're not done quite yet. We got a bunch of talks. Okay, Luca, you're up. I'm glad Rachel seemed okay. Y yeah. You're right. You're still reluctant, aren't you? To talk to Raisha. Well, yeah. I mean, it's been so long since we... But even so, it's the fact that Raisha put herself in danger to help you. Doesn't that prove she thinks you're important? I know, I know, but... I get it in my head. But it's no good when I'm on the spot. Why don't you at least thank her next time? Huh? I'm sure Rachel will appreciate it. You're right. I'll try it. Thanks, Crow. Oh god, I really hope that's not a death flag. Oh god. Oh, something else. Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay, this is new. Lady Cloche, can we talk for a bit? I don't mind. I want to talk to you, too. May I ask you something about Bracia? Okay. Do you still have, well, difficulty with her? It shows, doesn't it? Actually, well, a lot's happened, so it's a little more... Really? But it's not easy. I've always acted like that towards Mom, so, well... You mean that it's embarrassing? N not just that, but... Um, I can't just change so suddenly. I see. That's something of a relief, though. Now that I know you're making some effort to amend your attitude toward Raisha. I I'm sorry it's gotten so bad that even you're worried. Never mind that. I was worrying entirely of my own volition. Though if you had said nothing were any different from before, I might have slapped you without mercy. <laughs> Please don't say such scary things. That is so cool. Jockery. Let's say I suddenly attacked you with my magic. What would you do? That's a really disturbing thing to say so calmly. It's just because it seems that you don't trust me. Then I blasted up in the way to the dreamy field tunnels like five minutes ago. I remember asking if you thought I used song magic that would hurt everyone. Your answer was so ambiguous that I thought you would still doubt at me. Well, I mean, we did get into a boss battle with you. Well, I don't really care if I've been your trust or not, anyway. Well, we've only known each other for a very short time, so I'm not 100% sure about it yet. But although you sound harsh, for some reason I know you aren't the kind of person to hurt others like that. If you had any intention to kill us, 
You would do it while we're alone, like now. So, I know I don't need to worry about that. But a naive guy. Damn, still not on the gray area there. Okay. And look at the time with that. We will continue next time. We did it, guys. We got through the shop events. <laughs> next time. Kana Kana Pierre. It's about goddamn time. <laughs> Thank you so much for bearing with me through the shop events. I hope you guys enjoyed them like I did. And I'll try to go to the shops more regularly so that we don't get like a big ton in a row like that. It's just that we were stuck in Deathlandia, you know? I mean, it didn't feel right to exit Deathlandia to go to get shop events. <laughs> but you know what? We're halfway through all of them. And, uh, see, today's Sunday, so in two days, more Fata Morgana. Approaching the end of the main story of that. And then on Thursday, uh, we'll continue with this. Amory isn't even in the, in the party yet, x -Tian. She didn't rejoin the party, but I'll try to remember that. So until next time, I will say so long, farewell, I'm to say good night. You are all of the sweetest of hearts. See ya. <laughs>